really good to be back. So I want to welcome back our colleague, the Majority Leader. Sorry, did the gentleman yield back? Yes. Do I have any time? No. I wanted to be here for this moment. That in six months, actually, I'll give you seven. I move to proceed to the motion to reconsider the motion to invoke cloture on the motion to proceed. Member of this committee since the Coolidge administration. That the record, that a, that, that the record, a piece by, uh, in Washington. Uh, it was a great comfort to me when I arrived during the Coolidge administration to find that you had already been here several years. When I was in sixth grade, they started teaching me how a bill becomes a law. This solves our problem. Go back to the sixth grade. The right of the people. That's us. I recognize that I was not the, the original speaker for tonight. I wasn't the first pick. Uh, but you know how Steve Scalise is. He can be so picky about the groups that he talks to. It's obvious the Republicans are more afraid of the dreamers than they are of ISIS. Good gosh. I'm going to make my own consent agreement. I'm going to make a consent agreement that seems to me to be pretty good. I'm going to wind up. We're happy to debate immigration. And we will be happy, happy, happy. We're happy to debate immigration. Mr. Bipartisan right there in the middle of the crowd. We are not into hostage taking. We are not into being bullied. I heard a door close. We are not into legislating with a gun to our head. With a gun to our head. We're incredibly stupid as a nation. Show us. Show us. I'm perplexed. I've never been a uh, old crusty white guy. I think it's a, a pretty hard argument to make with a straight face. When I, when I take a personal vacation, I don't go sit on the beach. I go do active things. It's just sheer laziness. You know, as Taylor Swift said, haters are gonna hate. Now isn't that lovely? I was gonna mention about my, my cousin Vinny. Did that happen in Mississippi? Do a little G-chatting. You know, I, 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 I hate to say I never saw the movie, but I can tell you that the gentleman that intercepted the pass to win the Super Bowl was from Mississippi. From Mississippi. The person may have had a meeting, so they get their little iPhone out, I-5-6 or whatever it is. I was actually going to not have any questions until the chairman brought up my cousin Vinny. Something fun, I guess, for some people. A candy crush. My cousin Tom Brady, the MVP of the Super Bowl. <laughs> Did give, did give your guy, Mr. Butler, the truck. That's maybe a typical day for a lot of people. And he gave him the truck with all taxes paid, all insurance paid. This is just excellent stuff. And a full tank of gas. They're laughing at us because while we squabble and quibble and dribble. Hey, I'm sorry, go ahead. But uh, much like the Seahawks coach uh, decision on the one yard line, the president chose to make the wrong call. That's some good creative thinking right there. To that end. Right. Now I've been there for 15 years in the middle of these five farms and I have yet to see as much as a rowboat go through. I didn't say that quite right. And venison is a big staple of the diet in West Virginia. It's a very good quality meat. Which I assume will be flown in on a unicorn sliding down a rainbow. Very high in protein and fiber. It's great. American people don't want Frankenstein. They don't want Groundhog Day either. Groundhog's Day, we all know what Groundhog's Day is, and if you didn't see the movie. Uh, I know it's Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Perhaps we should limit references metaphorically to Groundhog well, Day. Well, I really feel like that movie Groundhog Day. 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 Thank you for the microphone. I gotta say, I'm, I'm a little confused. People can also vote with their feet. But I'm not holding my breath for that. I am trying to show I am from Texan, Texas. There's one thing about it, you never have to ask a person if they're from Texas or not, because they'll tell you. The majority leader always gets the last word. I want to stand up for my state of Texas. God bless him and good luck. Texas, 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 Texas. Every last one of them can rot in hell. If Texas were its own country, it would have the 13th highest GDP in the world. And I want to thank the gentleman from uh, Texas for the uh, wonderful uh, commercial for Texas. We treat our nation as as more important than any one given state. I told you what I think about Texas. I wouldn't live there for all the tea in China. I will await the gentleman's apology. Mr. Session, I just want to tell you I love Texas. I love Texas. Texas tries to do its part. You will wait until hell freezes over. The gentleman. For me to say anything in an apology. This man, this Congressman Hastings, truly does not give a single I love our United States. And I would say that it's, uh, it's uh, a great country and that for us to work together 
is important. But are you clear on what he's doing? No.